This is a Zam buffed cabochon for turquoise. And I know a lot of people use the pad at the end of their lapping machine. This is the pad at the end of the machine. This pad's impregnated with um, diamond paste, micro. This is the stuff that I use. Probably found it on eBay or Amazon. Um, Micron diamond paste. I don't know if any of these still have the, the label on them, but nope you can pretty much find that stuff anywhere so the thing that I do though I don't just rely on that end lapper unit I actually use Zam so this is a, a tube of Zam and this is a um, I don't know I don't know if this is used just solely for uh, jewelry for metal but I use it as the final step for polishing stones, especially turquoise. So when you're polishing turquoise, and here, let's see if my camera will move. Ooh, here we go. We're going to get this thing set up so you can see how Zam polishes the turquoise. So I'm going to take this piece here. And I am using, you can use a Dremel, you can use uh, any kind of a rotary tool, but this is a soft felt wheel. Soft felt, so mm -hmm. we can wiggle it around. And I get a little bit of Zam on that wheel. And then I Zam the piece, the stone. You can see how kind of dull matte finish this is. I'm always very careful with the speed of my Dremel because with stabilized, this is not a stabilized piece, but with stabilized pieces and softer pieces of turquoise, sometimes if you get the speed going really fast, you will actually burn the turquoise with the felt wheel. So just be careful of the speed. And voila, look at that. So that is with Zam. Gives me a beautiful finish. And I think the wheel last that this was hit with is a 3000-ish grit wheel. Sometimes I'll hit the Micron buff pad, um, and other times I won't. It just depends upon the stone. So off to another one. This one, matte finish as you can tell, so kind of a, a matte finish. The only reason why I take a rag and wipe the stone off afterwards is to get the Zam off, any debris of Zam. Zam can leave quite a little bit of debris. Voila! That one's actually a really nice piece. This came from um, 
Campitos mine. So that one's not stabilized. This is a stabilized piece of Kingman turquoise. So I've got to be careful with how fast I hit it on the wheel. Whoop. Yep, that does happen sometimes. You'll have them spin off, catch and spin off. So you have to go finding your piece. Sometimes it breaks the piece and you, you've got to start over. This one survived. Yuck. There we go. It survived. I do have a larger machine that I could be using for the buffing for the felt buffing pad. This is a double side grinder. This is a soft felt pad, a large soft felt pad. I prefer to use a smaller felt pad, even though you saw one of the stones whoop, rip out of my hand. But um, for some reason, because I can't control the speed on this machine, this is a high speed wheel machine um, grinding unit. And actually this, this particular machine is for cutting glass. So this has got a, a glass cutter here on the side um, and then the buffer here on the side. And so I've, I have used this, this buffing pad before. Um, others may actually prefer to go to a buffing pad like this to put the Zam, to apply Zam and use that. I just cannot control the speed, so one of the reasons why I suggest using a Dremel um, and using a much smaller head for polishing your turquoise. So, you can find these heads on Amazon soft felt heads on Amazon and you can use two different kinds of dowel, uh, not dowels, darn, what are these called? <laughs> um, thingies to put the felt on. These screw, the felt screws directly into these ones and the ones that I prefer using are the screw in tops. They have a, a screw in top and this allows you to remove the felt yourself. And this is what those those look like. I don't know, is it gonna have the there's the company that I got these from, PMC Supplies. And I think that's precious metal clay, isn't that for PMC? Anyway. So two different options for for polishing turquoise. I just found that um the Zam works really well and I had a friend who's been cutting turquoise for years who uh, just started using Zam as well, and he was really surprised at how well the Zam worked. So, uh, good luck. And again, this is what Zam looks like. I'm sorry you can't see the M on that because it's, uh, I need to order another tube of this. Um, that's what it looks like. 